Edinburgh, Queen Elizabeth's northern capital prepares to greet Her Majesty. Along Princes Street moves a magnificent procession, accompanying the Queen to a service of national thanksgiving at St. Giles Cathedral. Born in public for the first time since 1822 are Scotland's proud emblems of majesty, the crown, the scepter and the sword. Now comes the Queen. Beside her sits the Duke of Edinburgh in the uniform of Field Marshal. Slowly the royal coach passes the cheering thousands, many of whom have waited since dawn for this moment. So to St Giles, where 1,700 people from all walks of life wait within to welcome their crowned and anointed Queen. The crown is carried before the Queen as she joins the procession into the cathedral. Passing through the cathedral, where so much of Scotland's glorious history is recalled in heraldic emblems, Her Majesty comes to the altar. The Dean of the Thistle and Chapel Royal, the very Reverend Charles Waugh, blesses the Queen. The blessing is that used at her coronation. The honours of Scotland, which have survived through the centuries, are now to be offered to Her Majesty as a demonstration of the loyalty of her Scottish subjects. The ancient crown of Scotland is presented to the Queen. The Duke of Hamilton and Brandon, as holder of the Earldom of Angus, receives the crown from the Queen. The solemn service of thanksgiving and dedication ends, and preceded by the regalia, Her Majesty moves towards the west door. The crowds press forward as the royal couple prepare to journey through the city once more. Majesty the Queen has further endeared herself to all her Scottish subjects.